Mr. Rasmussen, I'm going to do 94 on your first semester chem exam. I call it chem exam three, and then you can look on the study guide and get the answer. But I'm laying it out here now. See, I don't think on this one they tell you what the equation is. You just got to know this is cellular respiration. As a junior in high school, you should know this. You should know photosynthesis and you should know cellular respiration. This is the chemical equation <coughs> balanced, and you should know that for cellular respiration. And they're saying if you were to ingest 45 grams of sugar, how much CO2 are you going to crank out? That's kind of an interesting concept, isn't it? If I get 45 grams of sugar in me, I'm going to crank out X number of carbon dioxide. So how do we figure this? Well, I always start, you know, with what I need to know, which is grams of CO2. And I'm saying that is going to be equal to what I already know, which is 45 grams of C6H12O6, a simple sugar. And then I go into my use of conversion factors and mole ratios. So the first conversion factor is to get rid of the grams. So I'm going one mole of C6H12O6 divided by, and what is the mole mass for this? Well, there's 12, uh, 6 times 12 is 72, plus 12 is 84, times 6 times 16, yeah, 180 grams. 180 grams is what the mole mass for one molecule of, or one mole of sugar is. And that is C6H12O6. Now, does that get rid of the grams? So, yeah, yeah, Mr. R. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, No, I, all right. And then six moles of CO2 for every one mole of C6H12O6. And we know that by looking up here. See, just a one over here and a six over here. That's the mole ratio. That's what we got from a balanced chemical equation. And then we got one more to go through, and that is where we get rid of the moles of CO2 and we get the grams of CO2. So we know there are 44, that's uh, 12, and uh, 2 times 16 is 32, comes out to 44 grams of CO2 in one mole of CO2. I'm hoping this is making sense. Now, this is what we want. We want grams CO2, that's what we come out to. And if you crunch this, you're going to find that you got 66 grams of CO2 for every 45 grams of sugar that you eat. Wow, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? 45 grams sugar gets you 66 grams of CO2 gas. Huh. Just say, huh. Okay, that's it.